you know, the cave. Yeah. Yeah. I did the same thing with my parents. I was depressed, and then people are going to be like, you know, he just. Oh, yeah? Like, yeah. she was a. He was uh, posing for him. Yeah, 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 of course. Of course. Yeah, 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 of course. Yeah, 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 yeah
fact, while he was a police officer, he founded an organization called 100 Blacks in Law Enforcement Care. That's when I met Eric Adams. When he used to come out, and there was an incident of police misconduct, his abuse of brutality, he used to march, protest. He used to come out and march and protest with us as a police officer. Not an easy thing to do. Um, in fact, in the early 90s, he was one of the uh, founders of the city. Like Eric Adams, who has gone through so many ups and downs in life, 
and has made it to this point is quite inspirational. And I think it will inspire a lot of youth and young adults who are growing up in this era. You know, uh, I teach high school uh, chemistry in Mount Vernon where we have over 90% of the uh, population African Americans. And uh, this just past week I met with a homeless liaison uh, who who basically said, hey, I'm looking for someone who can make a donation of six laptops because we have six homeless students who went through such struggle and they made it and now they're in college. But in order for them to go to college and to study, they need laptops. So I basically volunteered. I said, hey, listen, you know, I don't know what I can do, but I'll just fundraise whatever I have to do and I would love to just provide those six laptops to those students. And I have not yet met them, but I saw the names of the students, and I said, you know what? What a wonderful and amazing uh, talent and uh, internal power that they carry, right? Because although they've gone through such downtime, the fact that they were fully educated and have the heart to get more education, and I believe those are the ones who will become true leaders in our society. And I believe that Eric, uh, Eric Adams has gone through those steps and he's becoming that kind of inspiration and hero to those students who will be able to motivate them and support them to get even better. Right? So once again, you know, I congratulate and I thank you for supporting him. Yes. Now first, I want to thank everybody for inviting me here tonight and Carmen for sending me the invitation last week and saying I'm going to be there because it is not over yet. Of course not. Yeah. Continue working with everybody. One thing that I said when I came into this campaign is we need to continue this conversation, multicultural conversation. Mm -hmm. We are New York City. Don't forget, Salad Dressing. Salad Dressing. Yeah, Johnson is Salad Dressing. So, and the beauty that we have in this city is that we are one. Like you say, any color, black, brown, yellow, whatever. We are New Yorkers, and New Yorkers never ever give up. And we are going to continue what we started. And next year, we're going to be back in business. We are back in business already, but on a full speed. So, thank you, everybody. the Salmon Procession New York City for Puerto Rico, um, which I started in 2017. Uh, in 2018, uh, Eric L. Adams reached out to me because he had heard about the Salmon Procession. And he became part of the Salmon Procession. And he marched with the Salmon Procession. What I want to say is, that I never really wanted to make the silent procession a political thing, mm -hmm. but my steering committee said, no, Carmen, you have to reach out to politicians and, and have them be part of it. Mm -hmm. I got pushed into it, I did, and the response was, that is not my district. And I heard it once and twice, and then after hearing it twice, I said, mm. <laughs> you know what that means? Okay. <laughs> 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 Come on, yeah. 